South Lafourche High School has a 5-0 record, equaling their win total from a year ago. The credit for the turnaround in Galliano would seem to go to new head coach Dennis Skeins. Just don't expect him to take any of the credit. There's more of this entire, you know, the coaching staff coming together and, and doing it together as a group and, and uh, us coming up with common beliefs and what we believe in and what we believe is going to allow these kids to be successful. While Skeins downplays his effect on his football team, seniors who have been there say the new head coach is the primary reason for the strong start. It's a big difference. Last year, the past couple of years, we haven't been as excited. The intensity hasn't been there. We're a lot more aggressive all around. This year, we've got a coach that's bringing a spark to our team. This is Skane's first head coaching job. Prior to coming to the Tarpons, he was a defensive coordinator at Bell Chase for three years. And while this is a new job for Skane's, he has plenty of experience guiding him through his first go around. I'm blessed. I'm very blessed. Uh, I had two coaches I was able to work under. Uh, coach Sonny Chaponche at Turlins Catholic High School, he's still there today. And Coach Bob Begnell, who retired uh, last year. Uh, and those are two coaches who I've, uh, you know, I, I kind of was raised under Coach Sonny and then I got to work with Coach Bob Beck now and, and I learned so much from them that they kind of helped prepare me for this situation. Coach Skane says he tricks his kids into learning life lessons through football, saying the success they've had in there will translate to the rest of their lives. They put the same amount of energy and, and effort into what they're doing on this football field that they can do that in any part of their life, whether it be you know, uh, the classroom now or, or later on in life uh, in a job, in a relationship, in their marriage or, or whatever it may be. This offseason, the Tarpons adopted the phrase man up and thus far they have manned up to an unbeaten start. A man up means a lot of different things and, and for this team it means, you know, when, when times get tough, uh, we know that in life and in football that's the uh, bad things gonna happen all the time and it's the teams who can handle that adversity. Uh, uh, that are going to be successful. And that's the same on the football field as in life. And uh, man up is kind of what we say to each other when it's time to, to handle that adversity. Man up just means when times get rough, you got to suck it up, got to deal with the pain, fight through it, and just finish. Man up means that, like, whenever you're tired, just continue playing, play like it's your last, last down you're ever going to play and just give it y'all. Skane's young men are manning up, and though Skane's wants his team to get credit for the turnaround, he gets the honor as the NFL and New Orleans Saints High School Coach of the Week. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Give me two beats, two claps, and a hoop. Ain't loud enough. Give me two beats, two claps, and a hop. Ah! In Galliano, Paul Boron for Outside the Huddle. Oh. Way out of the oh! right, <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Nice job, guys.